breaking. Today's headlines, Saraki hails Kenya's opposition leader. Ibo youth should discuss Biafra Uzodima. Saraki aids Kenya's opposition leader. Igbo youth should discard Biafra Uzodima. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening to me from, I greet you and stay tuned as I read today's news. Former Senate President Bukola Saraki has hailed Kenya opposition leader Rila Odinga for making public his desire to contest the next presidential election. In a video message specifically requested by Odinga, which was played to delegates of the Orange Democratic Movement during its convention, Saraki congratulated his friend for taking a bold step to contest for his nation's president. This was contained in a statement titled Odinga. Saraki applauds Kenyan opposition leader's declaration for president, signed by Holu Onemola on behalf of the Saraki Media Office in Abuja on Saturday. The former president of the Senate was quoted as saying, as you take the bold step today to declare your bid for the presidency of your great country, Kenya, under the Orange Democratic Movement, I am excited for you, your country, your forebears, and your family. Encouraged by the bright future, you are committed to delivering for the good people of Kenya. Imo State Governor, Opu Zedima, has charged Igbo youth to discuss the Biafra agitation and embrace opportunities in Nigeria. Mr. Hope made his assertion at the presentation of his book titled Reflections on the Igbo Question, held in the state capital, Oweri, on Saturday. What I have simply set out in this book is for our youth to appreciate the opportunities before them and embrace such instead of bemoaning the marginalization of Indigo and resulting to violence, which is self-defeat. Mr. Hope said he urged Igbo youth to leverage on technology, trade and commerce to dominate Nigeria and dictate the pace of development. I don't want our youth to think that somebody is holding down their destiny. I also want them to continue to be frustrated by the deliberate policies of exclusion, he added. The governor of Ebony State, David Umayi, on Saturday, directed the immediate withholding of salaries of the Commissioner of Health, Dr. Daniel Emezuriki, and the Permanent Secretary for failing to keep general hospitals clean. Umayi equally ordered that salaries, Christmas bonuses, and rice would be withheld from workers in the 14 general hospitals located in the 13 local government of the state. The government made this known in a statement signed and made available to journalists by the Commissioner of Information and State Orientation, Mr. Uchena Oji in Abakaliki, capital of Ebony State, on Saturday. The statement reads in part, The Governor of Ebony State, Chief David Umayi, has observed with disappointment the poor supervision of the 14 general hospitals by the State Ministry of Health. The National Association of Nigeria of Nigerian Student Nuns Investigative Committee has condemned the circumstances that surrounded the death of a 12-year-old student of Dowen College, Lekki, Lagos, Sylvester Oromoni Jr. In a statement signed by Comrade Oladimeji Utman, Chairman Nuns Investigative Committee, the student body commiserated with the family of late Oromoni even as it demanded a holistic investigation to unravel what led to the death of the boy so as to bring culprits to justice. The statement read, we have, we have read on various platforms, quoting the principal of the college as having said that lectures would go online. We urge the state government to halt such plans and suspend the operating license of the one college to send a clear signal to careless institutions who emphasize their business to the utter, to the utter ex exclusion of the lives of the future leaders in their care. It is quite unfortunate that despite our sensitization, reorientation, and efforts to reduce courtism in our tertiary institutions, such evil acts could be carried out by secondary school students. This is saddening and a note of warning for all stakeholders in the education sector to do what is needed to ensure the eradication of cultism in our basic and secondary institutions. 
former Senate President Bukola Saraki as ailed Kenyan opposition leader Reos Odinga for making public as desire to contest the next presidential election in a video message specifically requested by Odinga, which was played to delegates of the Orange Democratic Movement during its convention. Saraki congratulated his friend for taking the bold step to contest for his nation's presidency. This was contained in a statement titled Odinga Saraki Applauds Kenya Opposition Leader Declaration for President signed by Olu Onemola on behalf of the Saraki Media Office in Abuja on Saturday. The former president of the Senate was quoted as saying, as you take the bold step today to declare your bid for the presidency of your great country, Kenya, under the Orange Democratic Movement, I am excited for you, your country, your forebears, and your family. Encouraged by the bright future you are committed to delivering for the good people of Kenya. Imo State Governor Ope Uzodima has charged Igbo youth to discard the Biafra agitation and embrace opportunities in Nigeria. Mr. Ope made this assertion at the presentation of, of his book titled Reflections on the Igbo Question, held in the state capital Oweri on Saturday. What I have simply set out in this book is for our youth to appreciate the opportunities before them and embrace such instead of bemoaning the marginalization of Indigo and resorting to violence, which is self-defeat, Mr. Mr. Ope said. He urged Igbo youth to leverage on technology, trade and commerce to dominate Nigeria and dictate the pace of development. I don't want our youth to think that somebody is holding down their destiny. I also don't want them to continue to be frustrated by the deliberate policies of exclusion, he added. The governor of Ebony State, David Umayi, on Saturday directed the immediate withholding of salaries of the Commissioner of Health, Dr. Daniel Umazuri Ike, and the Permanent Secretary for failing to keep general hospitals clean. Umayi equally ordered that salaries Christmas bonuses and rice be, be withheld from workers in the 14 general hospitals located in the 13 local governments of the state. The governor made this known in a statement signed and made available to journalists by the Commissioner of Information and State Orientation, Mr. Uchena Oji in Abakaliki, capital of Ebo in State, on Saturday. The statement reads in part, the governor of Ebo in State, Chief David Umayi, as observed with disappointment, the poor supervision of the 14 general hospitals by the State Ministry of Health. The National Association of Nigerian Students, NANT Investigative Committee, has condemned the circumstances that surrounded the death of a 12-year-old student of Dowen College, Lekki, Lagos, Sylvester Oromoni, Jr. In a statement signed, by Comrade Oladimi Jutman, Chairman and Investigative Committee, the student body commiserated with the family of late Oromoni, even as it demanded a holistic investigation to unravel what led to the death of the boy so as to bring corporate to justice. In it, it is quite unfortunate that despite our sensitization, reorientation and efforts to reduce cultism in our tertiary institutions, such evil acts could be carried out by secondary school Student, this is saddening and a note of warning for all stakeholders in the education sector to do what is needed to ensure the eradication of cultism in our basic and secondary institutions. To my dear listeners, please do drop.